Okay, so now that we have done our switch, we're going to show you how to install a lamp holder. And a lamp holder is this device right here, and that's of course going to hold our light bulb. Um, it's just a real easy way to uh, show us that our circuit's going to work. Now the first thing you need to know about is this ground wire. And what you need to know about the ground wire is, be, is, is that this is a plastic box. And because it's a plastic box, you would normally put the ground wire on a grounding switch in here. Now this lamp holder happens to not have a grounding switch. It has gold screw terminals for your hot or your black wire and it has silver ones for your neutral or your white. So because this doesn't have a grounding screw, what you're going to do is you're going to simply fold this very carefully into the back of the box, making sure you tuck it in very tightly like so. And the reason you're going to do that, if this was a metal box, you would put that onto a ground screw in the metal box. But because this is a plastic box for purposes of our use here, um, we are going to just tuck it in there. Now, what you need to worry about is making sure that that ground wire at no way, shape, or form or at any time touches these hot terminals. Because of that, if it does, your, uh, your circuit would short out, you get a big spark, and that would trip your, uh, your circuit, your, um, trip your breaker back at your panel for the circuit. So anyway, we're going to uh, go ahead and stuff that in there. And again, of course, if you ever, ever have any questions, uh, this is not the place to get it. What you want to do is you actually want to consult a professional electrician. And the codes vary from city to city and from state to state, so you really got to, got to uh, do your homework on that. All right, but that's the way we're going to handle it here in this lab. So just be careful to make sure it's tucked very far back in there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to strip my wire off again, probably about a half inch. Just wiggling it, same way I did with my other connections. Being careful that I don't nick my fingers or my knuckles or the rest of my hand on that. Again, stripping my wire off there. Okay, so now I've got both my hot and my neutral, my black and my white wires. I've got those stripped. Now, because I'm going to put the screws around the terminal. I'm going to bend those over in that little hook formation to both my neutral and my hot. This particular switch plate, as most electri electrical um, terminals, has both Phillips and flathead. So I'm going to use the flathead. Now here's where you really, or excuse me, the Phillips. Here's where you really got to pay attention. Um, what you want to do is you want to tighten down one of your terminals, like so, all the way, and then the other two are standing up still, are loosened up. So you really want to pay attention to make sure that your hot goes with your brass, like this and you hook it around, Let's zoom in a little bit here to show you, make sure that you hook it around the right side or around the left side rather so it connects like that. You want it to go the same direction or around the same direction as you're tightening down. And again, just do a quick double check, I've got brass to black, always remember that. And then silver to white. Sometimes it takes a little moving around there, but you'll get it down. Make sure those are good and snug, and we're good to go. Now, again, when you put your wires in, you want to very carefully move them around like so, and coil them up. And again, as you push this in there, your lamp post in, you want to make sure that you do not have your terminals touching the ground wire. And I'll actually move the camera around here so you can see.
If you're looking from the side right here, you see that my posts are nice and secure, my wires are secure, and my ground wire is tucked all the way back in there. Now to secure that in to my ceiling box, because remember, this would normally be hanging upside down on the ceiling, I'm going to take my lamp post screws here, which were in the bag that my lamp post came in. Got to be careful there, I just dropped one on the floor. Don't lose track of them. And I'm going to go put them in like so. I'm actually going to come around straight ahead so you can see this a little easier. You can see these have little keyholes. And what's nice about that is you line them up with the holes on that ceiling box. And what I like to do is do one at a time. Line one up like this. Go ahead and put the screw in a little bit, start it up, like so. Same thing here. Oop. Bound to happen, you drop a screw now and again. That's why you use two hands. Makes the job go a lot easier. And once those screws get started, you just go ahead and alternate, taking your time. And what's nice about the way these are, these are little, uh, little key, uh, key lock hooks, or excuse me, uh, they have little indentations, so you can actually loosen them up, turn it, and then pop it off if you ever had to get inside there. So nice easy way to go about doing that. So you can see that you have little ways to go to make this get in there, but you can just go ahead and continue screwing that in until you're tight to the box. And the rest of that of course you could do on your own. Add our instructor review and approve this rough scale drawing here. So this one's all set to go and now we're going to transfer this to our full scale drawing which you see underneath here.